Hey everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about how much does concrete cost. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Mike Day here. Let's get right to it. How much does concrete cost? And more specifically, how much does a yard of concrete cost? Well, being in the concrete business, I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. I also own this website, everythingaboutconcrete.com. I get asked that question a lot. So I decided, let's, let's make a video about it and share with everybody just exactly what a yard of concrete costs. Now, as you can imagine, being in the concrete floor business, I have to order a lot of concrete. We pour concrete floors just about every day. So I think it's important for you as the homeowner or as a builder or a contractor to know exactly what the yard of concrete costs and what might add to the cost of a yard of concrete. So below, down here, I'm gonna list four different concrete mix designs that we use the most and how much they cost per yard. So these are my updated concrete prices for 2019. And right here, what does concrete cost per yard? Well, these are the mixed designs right here. 2,500 PSI, which would be used maybe for like footings, concrete footings. That's with a three quarter inch stone is $98.50 per yard. Now 3,000 PSI concrete, which is what we use a lot of for concrete floors, garage floors, stuff like that. That's $102 per yard. 3,500 PSI concrete, which is what we use for more commercial kind of garage floors, is $106 per yard. And 4,000 PSI concrete, which is what we use for all of our exterior stuff like pool decks, patios, aprons for gas stations, anything that's exterior that's exposed to the weather, we use 4,000 PSI concrete. And that's $114 per yard. Now, as you can see, these all have a three quarter inch stone aggregate in them. If you wanna go with a smaller aggregate, you can get a three eighths stone, also called P stone, but that adds to the price per yard. So you'd have to add $3 per yard to get the smaller stone. Hey guys, if you like this video, go down there and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification. That way you'll be updated whenever I put out a new video. And then one last thing, leave me a comment. If you know how much concrete costs in your area, then leave me a, leave me a comment about how much it costs and, and where you live. Thanks guys. Now what else adds to the price? of a yard of concrete. So here's some of the concrete additives. Uh, reinforcing fiber mesh. These are added right into the concrete truck when they're batching it. And that adds about $7.50 per yard. And that's gonna vary depending on where you are. You know, I, I live in Maine, so these prices reflect what I pay. Uh, where you are, they're probably gonna be a little different, but this should give you a good idea. Galenium which is a super plasticizer. And what that does, that's like a water reducer. So you don't need to add as much water if you use this additive right here. It, it allows the concrete to, to be poured a little looser or wetter without adding water. And what that means is you're not taking away from the strength of the concrete. So we use this in just about every mix we, we pour with. Pajutech 20. These are accelerators, so these additives help the concrete dry faster, and they have non-chloride ones, and they also have different dosage rates. So for a 1% non-chloride accelerator, it would be $6.50 a yard. If you want to add 2%, it would be $13 per yard. And you would use a non-chloride accelerator on a commercial job or jobs that have let's say steel, rebar, that respect in them, so the non-chloride accelerator won't rust 
the steel in the concrete. For a chloride-based accelerator, Parzulith-122, same thing. These go in at a different dosage rate, either 1% or 2%. For the 1%, you're going to add $4 a yard. 2%, you're going to add $8 per yard. Generally, these dry a little quicker than the non-chloride ones. So that's why they have two different types. And then for residential jobs, sometimes we'll add a bag of calcium chloride right to the concrete truck. And that'll help the concrete dry quicker also. And it's usually about $21 per bag. So you'd add maybe one bag and an eight yard load or a 10 yard load, or sometimes you'd add two bags if you wanted it to dry quicker. What are some other charges that add to the cost of the concrete? Well, if you're gonna get concrete on a Saturday, most companies are gonna charge you extra. Um, the, and the basic cost is $7 per yard extra. Now, some companies may have a, a charge just to open up on Saturday, so they may have a flat fee, and then charge you $7 or $8 per yard extra also on top of that. A waiting time. All concrete companies give you a certain amount of time to dump the concrete off the truck. And it's usually about seven minutes per yard of concrete. So if you got eight yards of concrete, you're gonna get 56 minutes to dump that off. After that, they're gonna start charging you by the hour. And a lot of them will charge about 75 bucks an hour. A small load charge. Now what if you only need about two yards of concrete or three yards of concrete? Well, you're gonna get charged for that yardage but you're also gonna get charged above and beyond that because they consider that a small load charge. And usually they'll charge you $40 per yard for anything under five yards. So if you order three yards of concrete, you're two yards under five. So you'll get charged 40 bucks a yard for those two plus for the three yards of concrete that you ordered. I hope that makes sense. Now, winter delivery charges. If you're in cold climate areas like I am, you're going to get charged extra from about November 15th to April 15th because the concrete companies use hot water in the concrete. And they're going to charge you for that. So we get charged about $8 extra per yard in the winter for a yard of concrete. Now, I also live pretty close to the ocean. So if you're going to take concrete, out to an island and it has to go on a barge or a ferry to get out there, they're going to charge you extra for that. So that could be $55 per yard, but it's better to call them and ask. This is just a general idea. So they're all going to be a little different. And one other charge, sometimes there might be a, a fuel surcharge. Some When the concrete, uh, when the price of gas goes way up, some concrete companies will charge you extra for that. Now, do concrete companies offer any kind of discounts? Well, yeah, some, some of them do. The ones I pour for do, like we'll get a pump credit. If we use a concrete pump truck and all they have to do is back up to that pump truck and flip the chute down and unload into the pump truck, then they're going to give you a discount of $3 per yard for that because that's, that's easy for them. Um, they just back up, dump the concrete, pull ahead and wash out, and they're done. So it's faster for them. A quick pay discount. Now, if you, if you pay for your concrete within 10 days, you're usually going to get a discount. And what we get is $2 per yard if we pay within 10 days. Now, some companies also have what's called a 100-250 rule. So if you have a single job of 100 yards of concrete, or a single project that's 250 yards of concrete, they'll give you a discount per cubic yard. Now you're gonna to wanna to call them and ask them what that is, but there may be a discount for bigger placement jobs. And there's also a volume rebate. So the total volume of concrete yards that you buy in a year or you spend in a year, you may get a discount for. And one that we have is if you pour 3,000 cubic yards at the end of the year, you'll get a dollar per cubic yard rebate. If you pour 5,000 cubic yards or more, you'll get a $2 per yard rebate. 
Well, that's it, guys. That's how much concrete cost, and specifically, you know, for 2019, how much concrete costs per, per cubic yard. Thanks a lot. We'll see you on the next video.